red okay, lights recording. Right. Okay, we got something kind of interesting we thought we should record and share with people and maybe somebody can come up with a good reason as to why we're seeing this. Uh, we've, we've had this in the charge for a while and uh, overnight and, and I noticed this before on my round plates we'd have a voltage held there uh, with no water and it, it's drained out. It's still a, a little bit moist. So uh, we'll do it again when it's dry and see what happens. But we find that we, you know, as we come out, we get uh, more voltage on it. Of course, if we reverse it too, um, you know, it shows as a positive and a negative. So it's definitely holding the voltage here. And, you know, we come out this way. And they're almost the same each way. It's a little bit of a variation. But uh, I don't know. I, I think it has to do with the, the fine white powder that builds up on the plates. Because we do got a tiny bit. And I know I've had up to so 1.8 volts. You can see volt. that white powder uh, a little bit there. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit in here you can kind of get. Yeah, you can just see it a yeah, little bit in there. You can see the, the remains of some of the white powder from the charge overnight. Yeah, and it just builds up on the uh, plates as you negatively charge it. So, you know, we just thought we'd record this and show it because I've seen it before with my tube design as well. I had actually up to 1.8 volts with uh, two tubes. Two tubes connected with rubber spacers so so we believe the white powder is ormus it's being generated through the reaction yeah and uh you know like i said maybe somebody can help us out with uh, some more info on this and uh you know see how it goes and we'll we'll, uh, we'll do it again uh, as it dries more too and see what happens